Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can map OneDrive as a network drive. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now on my desktop on my computer and this is how the home page looks like. So the first thing that you need to do guys is open the file explorer. If you don't find this right here, just go to the start menu and then search for file explorer. Once you find it, go ahead and click on open and then you're going to be right here. So once you're here, as you can see guys in the left, you're going to find all of the sections. Here you're going to find home gallery and then here you're going to find the OneDrive folder. So once you click on the OneDrive folder, go ahead and right click on it. And then here you're going to find all of the options related to OneDrive. Right here, as you can see guys, you're going to find the option to copy it, expand it, open it in a new tab, open a new window and so on. And then here you're going to find these three options. Always keep on this device, free of space and lastly right here you're going to find OneDrive. Go ahead and click on OneDrive and then here you're going to find the option to view it online. Here you're going to find settings and lastly right here you're going to find folder color. So right now go ahead and click on settings and then you're going to be right here in this window. So basically guys once you're here, as you can see guys in the left you're going to find all of the sections. Here you're going to find sync and backup account notifications and lastly here you're going to find about go ahead and click on sync and backup and then here as you can see guys you're going to find the sync and backup settings here you're going to find backup importance pc folders to onedrive backup your desktop documents and pictures folder to onedrive so they're protected and available on other devices go ahead and click on manage backup and then right here as you can see guys you can enable backup for your documents, pictures, desktop, and music, and lastly videos. So basically guys, once you enable backup, just go ahead and click on save changes, and then you're gonna be able to backup using OneDrive. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.